for the What's Up Web Hitch channel. This is Redneck News. What's up, webheads? My name is Redneck Ryan. Welcome to Redneck News, the only news show that calls it like it is, even though we don't have 20-20 vision, because glasses are for nerds. Our top story tonight is spies, particularly Russian spies, because they've been in the news, the real news, recently, and uh, I, I find their story somewhat concerning. Now, when I was in the third grade, I attempted to join spy school. I saw this commercial for a spy kit, and I called to get it, and it came in the mail, and I sent my application in for spy school later, and I got rejected. Uh, apparently, uh, you cannot yell at the top of your lungs, I'm a spy, I'm a spy, and still get to be a spy. Which is why this Russian story is so concerning to me. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the story, for the past two weeks, a Russian spy boat has been patrolling the east coast of the United States. This is concerning, one, because it's Russia, and two, because I live on the east coast of the United States. Now, since I was rejected from spy school, I don't know what being a real-world spy is all about, but I have watched many spy movies. I think I've seen most of the, most of the James Bond movies, and I've certainly seen all of the Jason Bourne movies. And uh, one thing I can tell you is that you're not supposed to let the person that you're spying on know that you're there. And if they find out that you're there, you're certainly not supposed to tell them that you're spying on them. So the fact that we know that the boat is there and we know that they're spying on us, to me, that's a pretty big deal. I mean, when I go hunting in the woods... I don't get up in the tree stand and then yell out, Hey, deers! Hey, look over here! Uh, I don't worry about me. Uh, I'm just going to be doing something else. Uh, if you hear any gunshots later, uh, that ain't me. So don't worry about that. Uh, no, I try to be quiet. And in fact, I get dogs to go out and, and chase after the deer and run them towards me. So, you know, that way... I can be stealthily in the trees and get a good shot at them. What concerns me about this spy ship is what if that spy ship is the noisy dog and we shouldn't be focused on that. We should be watching a tree line for where the hunter actually is. Uh, that sounds a little heavy, but you know, what can you do? So uh, we will keep monitoring this situation to make sure that, you know, that, that, that it doesn't escalate any further than this. And you can guarantee uh, that if it does escalate further, you'll hear it sarcastically here first. Now, before we let you get out of here this evening, we are going to introduce you to one more piece of redneck news. Uh, and it's something new that we're going to try out. You see, last week in the mail, we got one of those CDs that is the free trial of AOL. And we, uh, we plugged it in, and I got to use the internets for a few hours. And I found this website called urbandictionary.com uh, and that, that website is not safe for work or church or, or most elementary schools uh, but basically the gist of the website was that people got to give their own definitions for words that they used in their daily lives now uh, I don't get out to the to the urbans very much I stay primarily in the rurals so today what we're going to start is the rural dictionary. Um, now we didn't we didn't have a book in the house, so we're going to use this here bucket for our our rural dictionary. Uh, this bucket is brought to you by Lowe's, the fine fine people at Lowe's. This this video is not sponsored by Lowe's, but Lowe's, if you see this video and you feel like you want to sponsor this video, by uh, by all means, you can send us an email at what's up webheads uh, at gmail.com and we will talk to you. Uh, but this is a great bucket from Lowe's. Uh, it's got some instructions on the side. Mainly the only instruction is don't fill it up with your baby's milk because it's too much milk for your baby and they they can't 
it's too low down a, down down in the bottom and they can't get to it so you know don't do that it's also got some words uh, that I don't know what they are aviso and advertisement uh, maybe that's you know for the upper class of the United States something like that but the way we're gonna do this is uh, I'm gonna reach into the uh, into the dictionary here and we'll pull out a word and we're gonna we're gonna let you know what it is and so the very first uh, rural rural dictionary word of the day is lateral lateral describes a situation where a lost item is higher than you can jump with or without the aid of a bucket but lower than the height of the biggest ladder that you own for instance Johnny lost my ball up on the roof but I bet my ladder will get up there from all of us here at Redneck News we thank you for liking commenting and subscribing we uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and for now that's what's up hey thanks for joining us for the show click on any of the links to watch another episode of what's up webheads or click on the circle to subscribe and always know what's up